Hello from Alpha Cars in Boxboro. Uh, we have 2013 uh, Harley to show you all the details about this bike you'll find in our listing on alphacars.com. With this video, we just want to show you the condition of the bike. We will also take the bike out of the showroom and ride around the building so you can uh, see how the bike looks and how it sounds. Uh, we also going to grab our um, high definition uh, pinpoint detail camera and we're just going to go through the bike and show you all the details about it. Okay, so we have a 2013 uh, Harley Ultra Classic. This bike has the most desirable color combination. It is a uh, beautiful silver metallic with a metallic black paint. And um, it, the bike is a one owner bike. We just took it in trade on a Ural with a sidecar. And this bike has a little over 11,000 miles, well-maintained miles through the Harley dealership network. And um, the bike uh, obviously was on the road for 11,000 uh, miles. And it does show some uh, wear and tear. And we're gonna show you uh, all the details with our uh, pinpoint high definition camera. So we're gonna inspect the, um, we're going to start in the front, top to bottom. Uh, we're going to show you the windshield um, and then scroll down to the fairing so you can see all the details. Um, there are a couple of very small chips here, uh, nothing deep, but you can certainly see those here. Uh, the chrome on the, um, on the front looks very nice and very clean. The front fork aluminum uh, the upper parts do not show any pitting as you get down lower you see a little bit but um, nothing to really worry about on this side there's a little more and it looks like it just on the surface the fender has one chip right here the rest of the paint looks really nice by the way this bike is all original it has never been um, uh, dropped or re any part any of the parts were repainted so the front uh, part of the fender looks really nice. Let's take a look at the front tire. It is original tire, but it does still have some use left on it. Uh, the front rims, we did not spend a great deal of uh, detailing this bike. We obviously washed the bike and it's ready uh, for sale. Uh, the front rims, they do have a little bit of uh, uh, stain on the aluminum parts. The brakes look great, um, rotors are nice and uh, clean, and the condition of brake pads is reasonably good. Um, you can, I'm going to show it to you right here. So there's still brake pad material, material left, but uh, with 11,000 miles, this is something you may want to consider doing soon. Uh, the back part of the fender has um, this aluminum extension and it has, let me just see if it's something will clean off. Yeah, it does clean off, but it has a little bit of stain on that. As we inspect the right side of the bike, let's start from the top down. The gas tank is uh, nice and clean. There are no chips, no scratches, no scuffs, nice and clean. On the, um, on the seat, uh, there is a patch here, as you can see. The previous owner, as uh, he was getting on the bike, uh, he would uh, occasionally scuff it with, uh, with his uh, foot. And unfortunately, there is a uh, tear on the seat, so he installed this patch. And I wish he installed it sooner to protect the seat, but it didn't happen that way. So the seat, uh, to be perfect, would have to be replaced. And this is certainly something that can be picked up on eBay, the takeoff seats. This is an original Harley seat. Let's keep going. Um, as we go down here, the cargo, uh, the side box looks nice and clean. There are no um, damage on it other than some little scratches you can see right here. There's a little scratch on the exhaust pipe and as we go down the exhaust pipe um, there are a little bit of rub marks there. They're not scratches it looks like it's just uh, something that got melted onto the exhaust pipe. Okay so as we go around the bike and we're going to show you the bottom of the bike there are no uh, no serious scratches there. There's a little bit right there you can see. 
Uh, and as we go up and inspect this chrome bar, again, there's a little bit of scratch right there. Nothing on the tip of the foot peg. The rubber on the brake paddle and on the foot rest looks nice. All the chrome and polished aluminum look very, very nice. The bike is 2013. Okay, as we continue on the right side of the bike, we're going to look at the cargo box in the back. And it's not really scratches, but it's just from the, you know, reaching for the handles. There's a little bit of scuffs there. Paint looks nice and shiny. And it has two antennas. Uh, one antenna tip is missing. The other one is right there. And let's take a look at the rear of the bike. I don't really see any damage here. The pipes look nice and straight. Uh, the rear fender looks nice. I don't see any chips or scratches. Okay, so we're slowly reaching over on the left side of the bike. Let's start from the top down. Uh, let's inspect the back seat. Everything looks good here. Uh, there are speakers there. There's a power supply for the heated, uh, for the heated clothing cup holder and uh, another power supply right there. Looks like the volume switch right here. This cargo box has minimal surface scratching. All the chrome looks really nice. Let's go look down the bottom. Actually this one looks nice and clean. The exhaust system on this side looks nice and clean. Uh, the food pack looks very nice. And the left side of the engine is nice and clean. Very nice, very clean. Little compartment. Okay. And as we make our way around the bike, we can inspect this chrome bar. There's no scratches on this side. The bottom of the bike on the left side did not have any issues. I'm going to show it to you in just a moment. Let's take a closer look right here. Okay. Now let's take a look at the gauges and then we'll be ready to start and ride the bike. Okay, I can see how that uh, foot can rub against the seat. Not the best way of getting on it, but uh, okay. So let's look at the gauges. The bike odometer reads 11,563. No warning lights. Harman Kardon sound stereo system. Sounds nice. Cruise, looks like it has a cruise control. Spotlights. Air temperature, fuel gauge, voltmeter. Oil oil pressure and your gauges right there. Uh, the handlebars don't have any rubs or scuffs on both sides. Look really nice. Here's another power outlet. No, actually this is looks like a communication outlet right there. Um, this bike does not have ABS system. I'm going to show it to you right here. Usually with ABS system there's an ABS ring and there is a ABS sensor wire, which is not present on this bike. Just a quick walk around the bike. Two thousand thirteen Ultra Classic, nice color combination. Let's take it for a quick road test okay. around the building. Okay, so we're about to pull this bike out of the showroom, and we'll take a just a quick ride around the dealership. Turn ignition on. Make sure it's in neutral. Uh, run and start. Shift 
here is very nice. Checking out this video from Alpha Cars in Udall of New England in Boxborough, Massachusetts. If you'd like to learn more about this bike, you can give us a call. You can also see all the details on our website, alphacars.com. Our phone number is 978-263-9000. Thanks again for viewing this video.